All right, uh, Shalom. First and foremost, I want to give all praise unto Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai, who the world ignorantly calls Christ, but in the ancient Paleo Hebrew, the name of the Most High is Yahweh, and the name of the Son is Yahweh Shai. Um, now I'm just uh, the Spirit got on me to do a video because I was uh, looking at something the other day, and I found a video on YouTube, which I decided to go to the. Uh, the website, which is what I'm at uh, at this current moment, but it shows the uh, the debt of uh, of America, and the, the reason why I'm bringing this website up is it actually shows you like the literal uh, images, so you can get an idea of how much it really is. All right, so it says twenty trillion of U.S. debt visualized using stacks of one hundred dollar bills. Okay, um, now the the uh, debt of America has went up by I believe two trillion dollars over the past two years. This was made back in uh, I believe twenty seventeen or twenty sixteen. Uh, so it's a little a little bit off by two trillion, but uh, it's good for uh, an example of uh, how much it uh, is. <coughs> It's luck, yeah. I have a little bit of a chest cold, so uh, if my voice sounds a little bit funny, then it's a lock, yeah. All right. Uh, but anyway, I'm going to show this, and then I'm going to get the uh, the scriptures. All right, because this is just further proof that Babylon, which is America, by the way, not the Vatican City. All right, that Babylon, America, is fallen, man. All right. It says here is a single hundred dollar bill. Here is ten thousand. Or a hundred of these hundred dollar bills, a million, one hundred million, one billion dollars, one trillion dollars. This is the same, it's just a, a view from the this guy, look at that. That's one trillion dollars right there. And remember, all of those uh, uh, green you see, those are uh, all stacks. And every bill in those is uh, one hundred dollars. All right. And here it is. This is the the debt of America. Which again, this is off by two trillion dollars. Just a little bit over two trillion. But it's a good uh, um, example for this video. All right, look at this. $20 trillion in debt. Then they show the Statue of Liberty in the middle. Look at that. Look how small those people are. I don't know if I can zoom in. Oh, that's not a person. But just for a comparison, since there's not a person, if you look back in the, in the back there, that's a Mack truck. Looks like a little matchbox truck. Compared to this this uh, skyscraper of money, remember all those bills are a hundred, man. All right, that's the uh, the debt of America. Oh, look at that! Back in 2017, so yeah, I was right. It's off by two years. All right, but uh, it just goes to show, man. It just goes to show that uh, a Babylon is falling. Now I'm gonna leave that image there for uh, let's see. Yeah, I'll you I'll you leave that one for the uh, the video. All right, now I just want to bring out a few scriptures uh, on this. I believe I want to get Jeremiah the fifty-first chapter. Uh, this is uh, the book of Jeremiah, chapter 51. Let's see. We're going to start at verse... Uh, let's see. Verse 6. So this is Jeremiah, chapter 51, verse 6. Flee out of the midst of Babylon and deliver every man his soul. Be not cut off in her iniquity, for this is the time of the Lord's vengeance. 
he will render unto her a recompense. And Babylon have been a golden cup in the Lord's hand that made all the earth drunk. And the nations have drunk of her wine, therefore the nations are mad. Babylon is suddenly fallen and destroyed. How for her take balm for her pain, if so may she be healed. We would have healed Babylon, but she is not healed. Forsake her, and let every man go into his own country, for her judgment reached unto heaven, and is lifted up even to the skies. Look at that, that's spiritual. Because remember back here, it says her, uh, the scripture says her judgment has reached unto the skies. Look at this. That's the debt. It's a damn skyscraper, man. So her judgment quite literally have reached the sky. Look at that. Statue of Liberty. Look how little that is. Then you got the matchbox uh, uh, trucks at the bottom. Look at that. Her judgment have reached under the sky. And it quite literally has. And again, there is nothing America cannot get out of this debt that it got itself into. There is no way you can print $20 trillion. It can't be done. That's just too much money to print. Even if they print money every single day, in all hundreds, it's still not enough uh, time to pay back all that debt. Just can't be done. <clears throat> Salakia. As I said, well, got a little bit of a chess code. Uh, let's see. Me just a second. I'm going to go to the book of Revelation. Chapter 17. And we'll get a... This is the book of Revelation, chapter 17. And verse 16, And the ten horns which shall sall upon the beast, these shall hate the whore, and shall make her desolate and naked, and they shall eat her flesh, and they shall burn her with fire. For Yahweh have put in their hearts to fulfill his will, and to agree and give their kingdom unto the beast, and to the words of Yahweh shall be fulfilled. Alright, so, um, going off that, we clearly see, that America has got itself into a situation that it can't escape from. Now, all these other nations, like uh, the EU, the European Union, uh, which is uh, the beast in Revelation, uh, the North Atlantic Treaty Organization, they call themselves NATO, along with uh, EU, they are the, the beast in Revelation. That's not, you got idiots out there trying to tell you that's an animal. That ain't talking about no animal, man. Like when you go back to uh, Daniel, that's referring to uh, the uh, certain kingdoms that would uh, would come uh, and reign upon the earth. All right. Um, but anyway, I'm just going to cut the lesson short with that. Hope that was edifying. With that being said, I'm going to say shalom.